Welcome inside Washington Grizzlies Stadium for a matchup between number two Montana and the Delaware Blue Hens in the second round of the FCS playoffs. Montana is coming off a bye, but for the Delaware Blue Hens, they're coming off a 36-34 win over the Lafayette Leopards, where they trailed by 21. They came all the way back and won it, and that is why we are here today, Montana, Delaware. The Grizz, last time we saw them, it was a murder in Missoula as they dismantled the Montana State Bobcats 37 to 7. About the Bobcats, I'll get to them later. Well, how funny of a way to lose. Montana State, if you haven't heard, are out of the FCF playoffs. I'll get to that more later. But for today, guys, our defense has been dominant. That's the key to winning this game. In the last four games, the Grizz have given up only 24 points combined between those four games. They have been absolutely dominant on defense. For Delaware, they just gave up 34 points to the Lafayette Leopards. Offense should be able to put some points in the game. And that's why I think the Grizz should easily win this game. Game. Now this is the playoffs, so you can't say anything is going to be easy. But the way this Grizz team has been playing, it is going to be very, very challenging to come into the toughest FCS environment and knock off the hottest team in the country, Montana. There's no way we should lose this game. As for how I think this game is going to go, the Grizz coming off of I have not been good. And although they beat Northern Colorado 40 nothing, that was a very close game. Still in the first half, it was 14 nothing. So I think the Grizz are going to start off slow, but in the second half, they will completely pull away. On the score, Montana 42, Delaware 17. As for whether it is 30. Two degrees, but I am for some reason freezing. My hands are so incredibly cold. I can barely hold this camera. I have to scream. I'm right next to the jumbo shot. But if you can see outside, it is snowing very lightly. It is supposed to snow today. I don't think it's gonna get to snow like conditions like it was Cal Poly when it was an absolute blizzard and you couldn't see anything. But it is supposed to snow. So those are your weather conditions for today. 32 degrees and light snow. All right, here's the pizza reveal for today. Pizza number Number one looks good. Pizza number two also looks good, but personally, I gotta go with pizza number, oh man, this is tough. I'm gonna go with pizza number one. All right, as usual, here's your tailgate. You're not as many people as there was in the Bobcat game. Looking around, it is dark as it always is. You can see over here the M lit up as it usually is. Since this is a night game, we already know our opponent if we are to win this game. Ladies and gentlemen, the Montana Grizzlies win today. It's a rematch of the 2001 National Championship, Montana and the Furman Pout. It's Furman won earlier today, so that will be the magic. But Grizz got a win first, and it could be a challenge against this Delaware team. This Delaware team does have a lot of injuries, including Marcus Yarns, their star running back. Don't know if he's gonna play today, and they could potentially be down. Nick Minacucci played all the snaps against Lafayette last game. If he plays today, this will be his first road start. That's not a place you want to be. Your first road start at Washington Grizzly Stadium. Good luck. Real quick, everybody, it's time to talk about the Montana State Bobcats. I am super, super excited to talk about this. Normally, I'm a Grizz fan, you know, I don't care about the Bobcats unless we're playing them. But today was absolutely hilarious against North Dakota State. It was a back and forth effort. A game went into overtime. North Dakota State went down, scored a touchdown, made it 35 28. One play, the Bobcats ran in for a touchdown, made it 35 34. And then the extra point was blocked. No good, Montana State loses. It's always a good day when Montana State loses. It is so crazy. The number two team all season long, they come in here, get blown out, and then in their first playoff game, the Montana State Bobcats are out in the second round. Guys, something I love about the SCS playoffs is you get to play teams you normally don't play, and that is the case of Delaware. We have only played Delaware once in our entire history, and it was a thriller, and a lot of stuff has changed since then. Montana took on Delaware in the 1993 playoffs in a game that can only be described as a circus. Delaware took the win 49-48. There were three touchdowns in a four-play span. It was tied at 42. The Grizz went out 48-42. They unfortunately missed an extra point, and Delaware went down the field, scored a touchdown with like 50 seconds left made the extra point and that was it. A lot has changed since that day. Where I'm currently standing did not exist. They were just grass and the engines. Our uniforms also changed. We were wearing the gold and copper jerseys back then. We did not have maroon jerseys at that time. So a lot has changed. Hopefully though, we can change the result. We lost last time. We got to get these guys back and I think we're going to, as I said. Since both teams are out on the field, here's your official uniform combo of the day. Yellow, we're going to three pants, white jerseys, blue and gold Michigan knockoff helmets. Montana, I am so happy to announce this. The all maroon, maroon pants, maroon jersey, and the silver helmet. This is our best uniform combo. So glad we're going with this for once.
and welcome to Washington Grizzly Stadium for tonight's FCS Second Round Playoff Game. Featuring the visiting Delaware Blue Hats and your second ranked University of Montana Grizzly! A lot of empty seats. Where's everybody at today? Here comes the snow out of nowhere.
awesome shirt. I would do that. I can see white. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yeah, incomplete. Find him, find Aaron, he's wide open. Snow is crazy. Let's go, get a stop here. Did, did he catch it? I literally cannot tell what is going on right now. There's so much snow. No, it's incomplete. I'll throw the ball carrier. That'll be it for the first, the first half. half dominant. Absolute dominant. Right, it's halftime 35-12 to score. Grizz on top. Domination so far. This snow is unbelievable. I said I don't think this is going to be like Cal Poly. This is even more snow than Cal Poly had. It is affecting my vision where I don't know, like that Delaware touchdown, I had no clue what happened. I couldn't see it. It was a touchdown, but I can't see the snow is blinding me. Dominating half so far. We're showing why we're the number two seed in the FCS playoffs. We aren't going to lose this game. It's just a matter of how much are we going to win this by. Domination for the so far. They beat 35-12 half time. <laughs> Touchdown! 
been there for the first nap of the third I know I said No, what in the world? The with the carry, a gain of three. Karika with the stop. That's the end of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. You are the University of Montana. Yeah, boy. 